Ja, ein Fernsehen. Wie sieht der Stadt? The first stop was a Durstan's place, where we picked up our guides and horses. The flooding rains of the previous few days had called the rivers to ice, and the only way across was on horseback. It was a slow, one at a time process. Here we came to a bit of a dead end. It was a dodgy climb over the top and we decided to wait for the horses. These are our camels carrying a double load. The rest of the camels had yet to join us. Another group of camels, not ours. These were ancient burial mounds. By the time we got to our camp, the sun was setting. This is the second camp after the first day's walking. A lot of the tents are already down. We arrived too late to see any of this. It was dark when we got here. and we're just about to stop for lunch. These two humps are carrying the toilets. This is lunch on day two. And this afternoon we're heading on up the valley. It's about 5.30 now. It's been quite a good afternoon's walk. This is the river we've been walking down for the last few hours. Camels down there. The first girl of the day. This is the girl who's just been in. We just had lunch on the 6th. We're heading off to see another girl. Here's the next girl. It's late on in the afternoon now. And one of the really big mountains has just come into view. Okay, but actually you have to today's more water about the mountains. Virtually at the top of the pass now. Actually looking back down the tongue of land between the two rivers. Two groups split at this point, some going over to the other side to have a look at the glaciers there, whilst we ascended the mountain on the north. We're heading up to that ridge. This is the high point of the trek. First thing the next day, we walked up to visit the lake. And this is the lake which we walked right around. After returning to the camp and having lunch, we set off on the afternoon's walk back to our next camp. First thing the next morning, we went down to the river to watch some nomads migrating. Here we are, setting up on the 9th. 
So you're going a few minutes normal late start, and up and down the valley here. Come on, keep going. Where's your stone? What a waste of a Very different site for this camp. Here's Mick going for a closer look at the waterfall. Halfway through the afternoon, after walking across the rolling steps. It was here we were to say goodbye to the horse and the camel staff. Of course, it's the final gift giving. Uh, on behalf of the group, we thank you for all of your friendship and for all of the help that you've provided us. The next day, it was into the vehicles again and off to Olgi, where we were given this concert. at all we met this Kazakh eagle hunter and his magnificent bird and he also had a very excited young wolf Lisa 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 <laughs> This is where we stayed last night, in the Kazakh Eagle Hunters Gur. up the hill was just too steep for the vehicle so we had to get out and walk to lighten the load. Once at the top it was still difficult to get them to go so some of us walked the whole way.
uh, late afternoon walk up to this glacial lake, quite a hard rocky climb. After a long drive the previous night, camping in the dark, we woke to find ourselves by this lake. In the morning we had a short walk around the side of it before getting picked up by our vans again. After being collected by the vans, we returned to Olgi, where we had a shower and then this feast in the evening. It was not an easy van to be in, in terms of uh, engine and everything, but it was a very nice van to be in, in terms of driver. Thank you for the wonderful experience that you've given us. We will never forget. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.